Namaste beautiful yogis. We are in the process of the final stages of moving and today someone's picking up a 10 year spotty tree that I started from a seed so I wanted to say goodbye to it. Some muscat grapes and fix actually someone from beautiful yogis group which I'm so happy about. Here it is the tree. I started it from a seed from a white sapote a while ago. This aloe is also amazing and it's so full. Hawaiian red hib hibiscus and brown turkey fig, one more that it started on its own and muscat grapes and look at the weather, it's gloomy I know the wires, it's gloomy, the palm trees but it kind of, it has a really nice feel to it this morning last day here in this house and final moments in this garden it's quite empty now everything is empty and quite sad but you know endings it's a uh, late okay endings lead to new beginnings i'm having some melon with lime it's delicious and baby chin is climbing and here is the yoga spot empty and I'm sure. final cleanup and the studio i've never showed you guys the studio so you know how this is the yoga place there is lodi oh she wants to come uh, and here is the studio which is mid-century mid-century modern uh, studio, even the lamp and everything is mid-century modern here. That's, a, that's an original art studio. It was a survivor. He was a marine in Iwo Jima. Yeah. He came back in 1947. Oh, and he has amazing speakers. Yeah, bows. But uh, yeah. he came back and became an art designer. Uh, For Walt Disney, right? It, uh, no more. Oh, okay. So he spent all his time in there. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, it's the room it's in Terramon and it's real cool. Oh, and he has the best ceiling light. And see, also, actually, in terms of color, he had fluorescent, natural light, and then these are yellow lights. So yeah. when you have them all running, you get true color. Like, because he was doing all this, this light. He was, all, he was doing all those uh, colors over there on the, on the drafting table. Yeah. This is it, this is our last walk in the neighborhood. In the lovely neighborhood. Yogurt. Froyo, frozen yogurt at yogurt. Uh, it's a homemade vegan frozen yogurt. That's the best thing ever. Yay! How are you feeling? You feeling sad? Yeah, it's sad. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it ended with our thing? Yeah. That's what, what is it, it ended. It's uh, blue spirulina and cracker jack flavor with what, peanuts. What are the other flavors? And tantric tart and purple power. Are you excited, Lotus? Very. Let's so this is made with homemade organic cashew milk and homemade almond milk and they make biscuits and cookies with the almond pulp and they have amazing flavors this is blue warrior but it ended and it's um, blue spirulina this one is sweetened with dates the purple power so it's just really high quality yogurt and it's really the best tasting yogurt it's crazy Bobby is feeding herself This is the Kenneth village where the yoga earth is located. Mm-hmm. Who's new? 
such a delicious yogurt frozen yogurt mm. yum yum That's it, now she's obsessed with feeding Sophie. Mm -hmm. We're driving through Arizona and in the distance you can see the tabletop mountain. It's totally flat on top, so so unusual. More of the cacti. I think we'll see more of the falling asleep. And it's 111 degrees, so it's quite hot. Where's Sophie? Sophie's are leaving Tucson. That was our second stop. Here is little baby Chino. Sophie needs to sit down of course and that's a little bit of the scenery and a little more of Tucson. It's um, and I guess the city is in front of us. It's quite interesting and pretty. This earth is just pretty all around. I read someone say, um, and I was thinking the same thing the other day. I can't take my eyes off of this earth or off of her, meaning the earth. It's so beautiful. And you can see the big cactus. Yeah. And the tart cherries are a hit. More fluffy clouds and in our house maybe that can be one of my new yoga spots yes living with no chairs no towels we forgot a bunch of stuff so for now we're on the floor <laughs> and Sophie's outside Johnny's outside Sophie's sniffing I would love to plant some fig trees here but there's so much cypress I think Namaste beautiful yogis and yes we had left LA and we have relocated if you're following me on Instagram I I post a lot on there and I just share a lot of Insta stories on there so you know where we are at if you're not following me on Instagram we had moved from LA I think about a week ago now and we are just outside in hill country just outside of austin texas so we're no longer californians and it's kind of bittersweet i've been waiting for this for maybe seven eight years i never meant to stay in la for a long time but the, but at the same time i love la of course it's been my home and it's given me a lot for all these years so it's a bittersweet goodbye it's a needed wanted goodbye but at the same time of course Ella has given me a lot so I'm very grateful for it and while I'm sipping on my tea I'll tell you a little bit about why we decided to move mm. ever since I moved to LA my intention was always to move out as soon as possible there was an attraction and a pool um, there I knew there is something that I was meant to do there 
and I was not meant to leave it before I get it done. 